Squawker can connect to various software-defined radios, uh, SDRs. This can be through uh, various different SDR programs. The two I'm going to show today are SDR Uno and SDR Console version 3. This video assumes that you have virtual compert set up on your system. If you haven't, in the description of this video, there is a link to another video that shows you how to install virtual com ports and where to download them and set them up. So once you have virtual com ports on your system, we will need to set up Uno to work with virtual com ports. So if we go to settings, cat, choose the first of your virtual pair. They always work in pairs and mine is COM port 3 and COM port 4, which may be different on your system. So I'm selecting COM port 3 for my system. I'm going to change the board rate to 115200. Hit enable and connect, and make sure the RX mode control is ticked, and that is all set up for SDR Uno. For SDR console, very similar. We'll go to tools, options, cat serial port, Select COM port 3, as again, that is my pair, and this again may be different on your system. If we click here, we can change the board rate to 115200, and that would be SDR console set up for working with Squawker. Now, within Squawker, we need to go to sc Scanner Integration, select SDR Connect. If SDR Connect was already installed on your system, it would launch automatically. But as it's not installed here, it's telling me so at the top. And we're going to download and install. You get a little warning here. Now, if you're having problems installing this, in most cases, it is your antivirus. It is a false positive. It is safe to turn this off for a couple of minutes just while you get it set up and working. And then you can turn your antivirus back on. So hit OK. That will download and install it and automatically launch it for you. So here we are. We have the Connect program. Now, as we set up virtual COM port 3 in here, we would use 4 in here, so that is my virtual pair. We've got the option of a few different outputs. The reason for that is if you have multiple SDRs and want to run virtual more copies of this, you can. So if you can have Squartico running as well as WTR browser and both connecting to different SDRs. So once we have that set, we have to now tell this which file we are using so we can search for that it will be in your documents you will have had to start this program for it to load it the very first time so we've chosen the program this is now connected and as you can see it's showing the same frequency here as we've got in the RX control and if we hit start that will now link these two together so there we have it it is searching so if we go into SDR Uno version 1.3 that now scans make sure we're on UK Airband we are So as that scans through, as it lands on a frequency, it is t if it is listed within Squawker, it will show what it has f for that frequency. Let's scan through again. There we go. Now if we stop this, So the next time you actually come in to launch this, if we're going to SDR Connect, it will automatically launch these. So you just select your COM port, hit start, and that is talking to it. Hit start on here, and that is it connected. If you have any problems, not sure how to do something, please pop across the Squawk group on Facebook for support, drop us a message and uh, we'll help you out with that. If you found the video useful, please give it a like.